The company's CEO even recently said on a radio show that he would increase it if he could, referring to the revenues gained from water privatization. Nestle has even said that water is not a human right. Yeah. And speaking of water, what is California doing? They're putting black balls on top of their water reservoir, thinking that's not going to heat up the water. Right. Uh, or leak. Exactly. You can it. see it right there. The black ball reservoir rollout, potential disaster. Now, contrast that with what Israel's doing. They're actually using white balls because that reflects water. Scroll up and show them that picture there. Evaporation is the silent culprit that causes yeah, it reflects ma major the sunlight. Losses. Yeah. White reflects sunlight, <laughs> black doesn't. And that's not being racist whatsoever. Not to... going to harm the reservoirs. Exactly. But... So, but, but there you go. That's where it's all going. And then you have the idiots in California putting black balls on top of their water. I think you're going to be very thankful for all this corporate fascism, though, when the globalists decimate our society. Yeah, when they have everything under control and they tell you what to think and what to do and who to talk to and who not to talk to and what videos to watch. It's all coming. It's all yeah. coming. Don't, don't sure believe Nestle me, but it's going to share it with everyone, too. Exactly, for a price. Yeah, so. for a very small fee. Meanwhile, all those plastic bottles are making their way into the oceans. There you go. So, you know, because they care. They care about the environment. It's the, the number one thing right there. Well, stick around, because coming up, we're going to decide, you know what, is this Iran deal leading us up to World War III? I mean, we can't get any straight answers. Dick Cheney, the old warmonger, says they're definitely going to nuke America, so... That's coming right up. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades old scientific research to put together the Rolls Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Recently, the University of Texas pulled the Jefferson Davis statue from its campus because of a growing irrational fear of American history. On the northwest axis of 3rd and D in the nation's capital sits the Albert Pike statue, dedicated to the leader of the southern jurisdiction of the Scottish Rite, a title Pike held for 32 years. He was also a Confederate Brigadier General. He was also the Chief Judicial Officer and Arkansas Grand Dragon of the newly formed Ku Klux Klan. This is the only statue in Washington, D.C. commemorating a Confederate soldier, much less a founding member of the Klan. In fact, Pike was said to have owned a bracelet that allowed him perpetual communication with Lucifer himself. So if the Confederate flag is being denounced and Jefferson Davis and other Confederate monuments are under consideration for removal, why does this statue still remain? Simple. Pike 
is highly revered by the very occultic groups in control of the puppet government installed in Washington, D.C. His 1871 letter to Illuminati Mafia founder Giuseppe Mazzini predicts a succession of three world wars, a game plan followed to a T by the global elite. It was Pike that wrote the rituals that would create a secret society within a secret society, the 33rd Degree. The 33rd degree would serve as a continuation of the Luciferian goals established by an older order known as the Order of the Palladium. All Master Masons brought into the higher degrees would have to take orders from higher Masons. This long list of initiates includes presidents, Supreme Court justices, and military leaders. It was Pike and Illuminati conspirators that infiltrated the world of Freemasonry, armed with a doctrine to establish a one-world order. These conspirators, such as Lord Henry Palmerston of England and Otto von Bismarck of Germany, built global hubs for the Illuminati, and these hubs, known as the Supreme Councils of the Scottish Rite, like the one located at 1733 16th Street Northwest in Washington, D.C., have been in operation ever since. Washington, D.C. itself is reputed to have been designed to represent a pentagram in the Masonic Square and Compass, which would add to the confusing manner in which the streets of the District of Criminals are set up. Masons have long argued that Pike was not a member or founding father of the Klan. However, the 1905 publication Ku Klux Klan, Its Origin, Growth, and Disbandment by J.C. Lester and D.L. Wilson clearly lists Albert Pike as one of its founding members. This book was intent on glorifying the Klan and its origins, hardly an effort to spread misinformation. If awareness grows, the very people behind the liberal agenda to spread political correctness while abandoning our ugly American history will have clumsily uncovered a nest of treasonous activity and Luciferian dogma exposed in the light of day. Albert Pike issued this statement to the 23 Supreme Councils of the world. We worship a God, but it is the God one adores without superstition. To you, Sovereign Grand Instructors General, we say this, that you may repeat it to the brethren of the 32nd, 31st, and 30th degrees. The Masonic religion should be, by all of us initiates of the high degrees, maintained in the purity of the Luciferian doctrine. Albert Pike July 14th, 1889. John Bound for Infowars.com. Well, Dick Cheney has come out to say that Iran will nuke America. And of course, all of this is just prior to a debate in Congress. Cheney's speech characterized the Obama administration's brokered nuclear deal with Iran as madness. And he accused the president of providing the Islamic Republic with the means to destroy America. And of course, he did not elaborate on how that would be possible. Let, let's not forget that it was warmongering Dick Cheney who lied to the American people about weapons of mass destruction and, of course, led us into war with Iraq. But now, you know, here he's saying we're going to get nuked. Reuters summarized the U.S., European allies, and even Israel generally agree on three things about Iran's nuclear program. Tehran does not have a bomb, has not decided to build one, and is probably years away from having a deliverable nuclear warhead. Moreover, Iran does not have an intercontinental ballistic missile to deliver a nuclear weapon. So what is the truth here? And will this Iran deal lead to World War III? Let's go on to uh, Iran. I want to talk a little bit about Iran. I don't understand fully everything that's in the deal, but let's look at what we know about it. And let's start with the two different sides, because I look at Dick Cheney, Lindsey Graham, John McCain on one side, the neocons. I look at the Obama administration on the other side. We've got Valerie Jarrett, somebody who went to Iran. Her, her parents took her to Iran because they hated America so much. She was born in Iran. She's an Iranian citizen. She's essentially the Henry Kissinger or Zbigniew Brzezinski of the Obama administration. She has a lot of influence and power. And so when I look at this, I look at and it's like, well, I don't get any clues as to which side to pick right there, okay? Uh, I'm also not an Israel firster. I don't have a dog in that fight. Okay, so I'm looking at this strictly from what's happening here. And I, of course, uh, let, let's let uh, some of these people weigh in. Let's go to the clip that we've got of uh, Dick Cheney. Let's start with that clip. Uh, there's one interesting thing in the uh, agreement today. This is the last sentence of the first paragraph. It says, Iran reaffirms that under no circumstances will Iran ever seek, develop, or acquire any nuclear weapons. Now, who the heck believes that? 
Uh, it's just beyond me. To, uh, I try to understand what it is Barack Obama thinks he's achieving here, why he looks at the world. And okay, that's good. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Dick Cheney is actually reading. <laughs> he says, hey, I'm looking at this agreement. It's like this is a guy who just they basically just did whatever they wanted to during the uh, during the Bush administration. And he said, who believes this? That's right. Dick Cheney, when Dick Cheney calls you out on credibility, you got problems, okay? <laughs> this is the guy who got us involved in a war based on lies, okay, in a war with Iraq. Uh, so he, he calls it out on, uh, on lies. Let, let's go to uh, the clip from Trump. Trump has a little bit different take on this. Let's talk about the Iran deal. The president said that it's not built on trust, it's built on verification. It's not true. It's absolutely not true. How do you know they that? They can do whatever they want to do because I know many of the people involved in the negotiation. They are laughing at us back in Iran. And why didn't we get our prisoners back? Why doesn't somebody say, where are our prisoners? Nobody's even talking about it. We have four people that are in prison that shouldn't be. Why couldn't they make that part of the deal? Okay, I don't know. I, I didn't have time to look up what he's talking about in terms of prisoners. So. But that's a good point, okay? But nevertheless, we see other neocon commentators like Mark Levin, and we have an article up on Infowars.com from Breitbart. Mark Levin says the Iran deal has planted the seeds for World War III. This is Munich, okay? This is appeasement. Because, you know, if you don't push for war, then you are an appeaser. That's what we're told all the time. Uh, Cheney also said the one thing that really disturbed me was when we said that we have, quote, stopped the pro proliferation of nuclear weapons. That's a lie. Yeah, absolutely it is a lie. You know, we've had sanctions, and I'll talk about this when we come back. We've had sanctions against Iran since 1979. So it didn't stop them from getting as far along as they are. So I question whether or not the sanctions have been effective or not. And, of course, there were uh, more sanctions that were put on by the Bush administration with Dick Cheney. We'll be right back. I want to go back to Iran because I was just starting to talk about what actually happened with it. What, what is going to happen? What we had here was a removal of $18 billion in sanctions, okay? So they're going to get $18 billion in sanctions. Let's put that in perspective. $18 billion uh, taken away of, of sanctions from Iran. We have an $18 trillion debt in this country, an $18 trillion economy, essentially, we're a thousand times larger than they are. I don't think that this is going to make them a superpower challenge to us. We have to understand that these sanctions have been put in place since 1979. They put sanctions in place when Iran took over the embassy. They increased those sanctions in 1995. They increased them again in 2006. Did it change anything? Did it stop them from creating uh, centrifuges or working on nuclear reactors? No. It had absolutely no effect. So to say that this is World War III, that this is Munich all over, that this is nuclear proliferation, I just don't buy it. I really don't. Why did we put the sanctions on them in 1979? Well, of course, it's because they took over the American embassy. Why did they do that? What we, that's where our understanding of history begins. But it actually goes back to 1953. The first successful CIA coup was in Iran. They established the Shah of Iran, and the CIA put in the Savak, a brutal secret police. I learned about that when I was in high school from engineering students who were from Iran. That's what I've been concerned ever since I realized our government did it there. I realize our government can do it here. Well, that's it for the show tonight. If you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you here again tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. A clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. 
You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.